What's going on hikers? In today's video, we are gonna go through my minimalist first aid kit for hiking and backpacking. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeremiah Stringer and here we talk about all things hiking and backpacking. We offer you info, tips, tricks, hacks, and more, along with taking you out on some of the adventures with us in our videos. This video is about my first aid kit, but a couple things you need to keep in mind. First, this is to treat minor injuries and things that are going to occur while you're hiking and backpacking. This isn't a life or death situation first aid kit. Okay, it's just going to allow you to typically maintain a certain level of comfort, even if you're attaining things like blisters and cuts and that kind of stuff out on trail. So without further ado, let's go through my first aid kit. Yes, it is this Ziploc bag. The first thing in there is going to be just some band-aids. Okay, in case I get any little cuts or uh, scrapes out on trail, I want to keep those clean and not get infected. The second thing would be triple antibiotic ointment. Okay, again, to prevent infection and to put on any cuts that I have. Okay. Next up, if I get a blister, I have some moleskin. I actually rarely get blisters while I'm hiking, but some people get them all the time. Moleskin, it's basically just some padding and you can cut off squares of it and sticky on the back. And, you know, some people hate this. Like I said, I don't use it very often, but it can get like dirty and, and, and messy after a few days. I'm actually considering switching to Luco tape instead because um, I've heard great things um, about that, about how well it sticks and, and how well it prevents fish, uh, blisters from continuing to form. All right, next up, let's go through the medication. So sometimes you're eating that trail food, all kinds of junk food, and you have some stomach problems. Um, I put some Tums in here along with some Pepto tablets, you know, just in case. Um, any, any type of stomach issues. And also some antihistamines because you're outdoors, and anytime I'm outdoors for an extended amount of time, I have some allergy problems. Okay, you're out there breathing that pollen. So the antihistamines, uh, a few of those will really help out all those allergy issues. And then last but not least, <laughs> every hiker's go to the vitamin I. So this is just ibuprofen, nothing special about it. You're gonna have aches and pains out on trail. Okay, of course, you're out there, you're, you're putting your body through some grueling activity every day. So <laughs> unfortunately, one of the things that we turn to is the ibuprofen. So that rounds out the list. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you found any value in this video whatsoever, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. Make sure to kick the bell for the latest notifications. We'll see you guys in the next video.